Um, I love, I love, I love getting to know the families, and I love, um, I love when the older siblings and the kids that have been in my class come back to me years after they've been in my class. Um, as people sometimes say when I, when I come into the building, you hear kids out on the playground, Miss Bruce, Miss Bruce, like everyone knows me. Someone said, you know, it's kind of like you're, you're kind of like a rock star. Everybody knows me. Everybody knows I have. Sometimes I have candy, <laughs> um, but they know that I'm I'm a safe person and I I will help them if they if they need something. Even the older siblings um, that know me will come back. I just had a student come in um, last week and said um, he was hungry and he asked me if I had anything to eat and he said, "Do you have any candy?" And I said, "Why do you want candy?" And he said, "I haven't eaten anything." And I said, "Let me get you something." Let's go to the snack. So I went to the snack cupboard and um, got him the milk from the refrigerator and got him a snack. And I thought, he's an eighth grader and he knew where to go. I was glad that he knew where to go, that he came to me. But those are the kinds of things that, that make me proud to be. I'm sorry, I'm blubbering. <laughs> Just the last couple of years, you know, I, I always, I look to see what what people need. I'm always looking to see what, what people need, what my students need, what my families need. I um, wrote a grant this year from Donors Choose and I got 22 pairs of winter boots for my class. Um, I, at Christmas time, I had some friends of mine um, adopt all of my children, mine and um, the other GSRP preschool classroom. All of the students went home with um, a pair of pajamas, a blanket, some socks, some underwear, and a book, and um, for all 36 kids. So, um, if someone, you know, if there's a need, um, if I can, if I can fill it in any way I can, I mean, it takes a village. So, I, I really feel strongly that you know, you have to reach out to the village.